can you give your thoughts, Valentina, on everything that's happened today? Oh, really, I'm very upset about what has happened, and I couldn't believe last day, till the last, very last moment that it's happening with me, and uh, more I, I am upset because of all fans around the world, they was expecting this fight, they was waiting for this fight, and to know this notice like in the just a few hours before the fight, it's uh, something something that I would not expect that it will happen with me by time. How did you find out? Um, I was uh, I wake up, I woke up and uh, was preparing for for my fight, having breakfast, thinking about the fight, about like souls feeling this kind of nervous inside me and um, maybe after afternoon uh, manager called to my coach and he said like looks like Amanda in the uh, hospital I was like okay it's maybe it's not true it's something like a joke because she was feeling good in workout she was feeling so like powerful and I, 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 I didn't want to believe in this but after maybe a few hours you see call to my manager and said like it will not happen this fight and I was like no. Did you have any idea after the weigh-ins yesterday that she was in trouble at all or had any, any illness or anything? Um, you know when I saw her training workout she was still looking like big for 135 weight class division because I think she's cutting about I don't know how many maybe 20 pounds maybe something like that and she was looking like pretty close to this weight and I was like okay you know what are you doing but uh, I also understand what she wanted she wanted to cut a, in very short time all weight and recover as fast as she can but uh, and to have this advantage on the weight during fight with when we will fight but it won't it won't work like this you cannot recover as fast uh, like our body still needs some time to recover all this and um, that's why it's the reason why she was uh, hospitalized were you told specifically that it was because of the weight cut that she was sick? Uh, it's what they are te uh, they are saying because of weight cut or uh, something like this. But um, maybe we will hear some more like news about what's happened. Dana, then what's your mindset going forward? What's your mindset going forward? What's your mindset going forward when the coaches are approaching Amanda? You just sit and wait, or do you just um, see what the UFC tells you to do next? Um, for me, I'm, my goal is still the same. My goal to be the champion and having the belt of UFC. And uh, I don't care with who, when and where I will be fighting because uh, this is my main goal. And I will continue my training, the same motivated, the same kind of intensity. I will do it and I know my time will come and I will be fighting for the title and I will have it. What do you think of the possibility of Joanna stepping in and uh, facing you? Uh, when she write it, I agree. It's a, like okay. it's the second when I wrote it, I was agree because it's like, okay, I will not fight with uh, Nunes, I will fight with Joanna. Why not? And uh, with Joanna, she said, I'm ready. I'm ready 100%. Why why not do it? And uh, how I said before, is Joanna, we have our era, our history in Muay Thai, and we can start our history in MMA. And why not do it today in UFC 213? She, she mentioned it came down to a pregnancy test. It required 72 hours to get the results back. So, unfortunately, that was the result. Yes, yes. If not this, maybe we, we would have another main event fighting each other. Yeah. Did you, did you that Amanda was clear, medically clear. How does it, how did that make you feel? That seemed to be the, the real point that really angered you. Yes, when you receive this notice that you, are, you can fight, but you already don't want fight. It's like, um, I don't know, you had all these three months to prepare you, to prepare for this, I have to fight, I have to put all my power, I have to put everything on the fight. And this is like, not a, it's a big event, it's a huge event. And this is, you cannot just say, oh no, I'm sorry, I don't feel good today. No. Do you think Amanda's screaming? Did you receive anything? 
financially, did you receive any money from the UFC? Or? Uh, about this point, all like speaking, all everything is my manager. He's there speaking with the UFC for now. I'm more prepared, uh, more worried about my like fighter future. Valentina, do you think Amanda scared you? Is acting unprofessionally in some way? Um, you know, like everybody see everything. We are, don't have to speak nothing. We are just understand everything. Like, if you are doing this kind of things, you have to be responsible what people will think, will think about you. So I hope she know what she is doing. I know, I know exactly why she is doing this, and everybody. Valentina, do you think Amanda is scared of you? This is a response we don't fight today. Like a few hours after the, after the uh, before the fight, why it's happened? Why it's happened? Nobody know. It's if you said you are good with condition, you are healthy, you are totally healthy. Go fight. I don't want. What does it mean? Has the UFC told you your next fight is going to be against Amanda? Uh, no, they still didn't say nothing. Uh, I I expecting to hear from them like maybe in this some days or something like this. But I'm ready. I'm ready. Whatever it comes, uh, I don't care what date it will be, what the opponent it will be. But my goal is the same: to be the champion. And like step by step, I'm closer. It doesn't matter. It's, it won't happen today. It will happen in the future. Are you getting paid? <laughs> Do you have confidence that she will fight you again, or do you worry that this will happen in the future? Uh, really, she has to fight. She has to defend her title, and she has to fight. But the other things, I don't care what will happen with her. I more uh, like worry about my goal, and I will be the champion. I go in there, and uh, how I say, I don't care. It will be she or someone else. I will fight. Will you fight for an interim belt? Fighting on UFC 215. That's the the card in Edmonton in September. Have they told you anything about that? Maybe fighting on that September card? I heard something like this, but uh, I'm ready. How I said, I'm ready for any date, and uh, I will be in my best shape again. It doesn't matter that I'm already in my best shape. I have I have to extend a little bit my training camp. From three months to five months, it will be a little bit longer training camp, but it doesn't matter. I'm feeling like uh, mentally strong, physically strong, and uh, I will take all necessary, like a little bit rest, and then continue all hard trainings. Would you so fight for an interim belt if they had one? I will fight for any belt, yes, because this is what I want, the belt. And uh, I don't know what situations they will like continue with Amanda. I don't care about this because uh, I'm a fighter. I'm a real fighter and I will fight for with anyone. Many fighters talk about strategizing to uh, peak at fight night. Um, you're saying this doesn't matter if you fight you know, next month or two months from now, that this, these ups and downs don't really affect your training? Um, no, no, because um, I'm really a professional fighter. I know how to control and how to put this, uh, how to ma manipulate. I don't have, for example, uh, some fighters, they are starting their hard trainings like one month, ma two months before the fight. And of course, in time of the fight, they're feeling a little bit tired. But uh, my coach, Pavel Fedotov, he every time looking on my shape, and he every time see, if I'm too tired, he give me a rest. He never like, uh, Oh no, we have the schedule, two trainings today, go training. No, he not like this. And he, if he sees that my body cannot continue, he, we did just stop. But the main goal is to put my body and mental condition to the shape like as uh, and the top that I can. And this is what we are doing. And uh, the result that we are doing this during like 20 years, and I'm still feeling like good in the shape, it's like means a lot.